Bob Chestnut spends part of his days crunching numbers, helping others plan their financial future. But on September 11, 2001, he was at Washington, D.C.'s Ground Zero. I was at the Pentagon on duty at the time of the attack. Chestnut is a retired Major General in the U.S. Army. Ten years ago, he was working in the Army Operations Center at the Pentagon, helping mobilize troops worldwide. That morning, he was heading to an office on the southwest side of the building, the same area where American Airlines Flight 77 was also headed. I was on an escalator headed to the E-ring, which is where my executive officer was. Just as I got on the escalators when the plane hit the building on the southwest side of the building, I was maybe 100 yards, 120 yards from the point of impact. The concussion from the blast was pretty severe. It almost blew me off the escalator. Chestnut says people inside were confused but not in a panic. There was no lighting and there was hundreds of people trying to get out. There was no chaos. It was very orderly. Once on the outside, uh, myself as well as most people tried to get involved in the recovery effort because the first responders had not didn't arrive for about 10, maybe 12 minutes. Chestnut spent nearly the next three years on duty, and though he is back at his financial planning business, he encourages Americans to remember the tragedy of the attacks and to support the war against what he describes as an ideology. This will be a long war. We're at war with Islam, Islamic fundamentalism. I'm not saying we're at war with all of Islam. I'm saying we're at war with Islamic fundamentalism. Most importantly, Chestnut says, men and women in uniform need to know they are not forgotten. One percent of our population serves in uniform and protects the other 99 percent. And I think it is incumbent that, that all 99 percent that are not in a uniform support those that are. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.